Hello, welcome along today, featuring this, the new Lexmoto Cypher, first test ride ever done on this machine, fully electric motorcycle. Same size and same shape as the Lexmoto Riot, except the difference being this one is full electric. Very, very easy to charge this up. And just looking from the front, that's got bulbed front headlight LED indicators and all of that under there is the battery storage so where the engine is you will have battery storage the electric motor just down the back there we will get in close with the second camera and get a good view on this and a nice tail tidy to the rear and just get a look at those led indicators and stop lights to the back of that absolutely gorgeous looking bike obviously this has no number plate on it as i am wearing tray plate and a nice single mono shock rear suspension on this one charging on this very very easy to do and we'll do this off of the second ride camera so we're just going to flick across now to the second ride camera and get in close on this bike so running in on the second ride camera just get a look at those leds on this that nice single mono shock suspension there nice little disc brake to the back and just get a look at the electric motor we're going to try and get in quite close in on this one the electric motor is just down there battery storage is at the front and a very very easy underneath the dummy tank you have your charger socket so you can carry all your charger with you very easy just to get in flick this up plug the charger in and it's on a standard what they call an iec socket or a kettle plug socket so you can just plug your charger straight into that there nice little disc brake to the front of this and some exceptional little tires on this as well now obviously for the purposes of ride test this has come straight out of the crate so just get a quick look at the dash we'll cut to the second drift camera to get a close-up view on this one and your tank storage is there so it opens from the rear and a nice deep seat on this and this one is belt drive so I'm looking forward to getting out and having a ride on this. We're going to cut back to the main camera on this one now and we'll catch up in a second. So seated on this little Lexmodo Cypher, we're going to power it up. Now this does come with a reverse mode on it so you can actually reverse the bike. Your battery charge is just situated to the top left on this. Your battery temperature just underneath it. Your ampers and then obviously your trip mileage, your main mileage and your miles per hour in the middle. I do love these brake covers, the brake fluid reservoir covers. Very, very clear. Nice light blue on these to match the bike. And you've got these nice aluminium covers just at the top. Now this has obviously got eco mode and a power mode. So if you want to ride nice and easily, you've got the eco. If you want to get a bit of beans out of this, very, very easy to do that as well. And then all you need to do is make sure that the side stand is up and then when you pop it over into the second position which is run that is ready to go but obviously it has a reverse gear on this now telling me 32 degrees on the battery so the outside temperature is around about 20 and then the eco mode and then we can flick it across into power mode as well so we're going to start off in eco very very quick front brake and left brake I have no gear change and I have no right brake I've got no rear brake so the rear brake is up on the left for this one same as you would with a scooter so we're just going to pull away quite slowly obviously one speed on an electric motorcycle so I am expecting absolutely loads of torque off of this machine on the left hand switch gear you've got the horn at the bottom indicators just above hazard lights dip beam main beam and the pass light so we're just going to pull out into traffic on this one and just see what it is like in the eco mode and then I'm going to flick it across into power. Now the range on this I have been told is only 40 miles. The maximum speed on this one is around about 30 mile an hour. So we're just going to pull out into traffic. Now this would be an exceptional little bike if you happen to have a camper to just put it on the back of the camper. You want to do a little bit of shopping just run it out into the traffic so it's got the same sort of speed as you would expect on a 50cc straight up to 30 mile an hour flat out but it is so different there is absolutely no noise from this bike no engine noise at all and seating position on this is very very comfortable knees tucked into the tank as you would on a riot but 
it holds a nice steady 30 it handles very very good just folding it into those corners and absolutely no noise that little electric motor is just cutting away and just brings you straight up to speed now obviously this is in eco power or in the eco mode what I am going to do is pull over in a second and just put it up into the power mode and just see what the acceleration is like so in the standard mode it pulls away nicely as if you would on a 50cc with an engine but then what I'm going to do very very soon pull it over and the braking on this just check the braking on this very very good front brake again just pulling it down on that front brake absolutely perfect so the braking system very very efficient on this now what I am going to do is just pull onto the estate so just run it around town and I'm just going to pull in on this and just see what it does if I flip this up into the main power mode so we're just going to on the right hand switch flick it up into power mode and I'm just going to give it a handful of beans and see what this does holy moly that nearly <laughs> lifted that front wheel look at that I'm straight up to 30 within a couple of seconds god this has got some torque absolutely amazing once again up to 30 mile an hour 31 actually and we're just going to do that one more time I'm just going to pull it over and just give it a big handful of beans once again so I'm just going to pull in no traffic behind me just for the purpose of this so I'm going to put my mask up so the visor up that's telling me it's ready to go 39 degrees on the batteries and just power straight up and good god the torque on this that is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable when literally a couple of seconds that's got straight up to 30 mile an hour now if you've got a camper van or you want something just to run to the shops this is a 40 mile range which is obviously great if you're living in a London you're in the uh, energy compliance zone or zero tax on this because being an electric bike you don't need tax if you happen to have the granddad's rights on this on your driving license pre-2001 you can ride this without a CBT now this would make an ideal bike for someone that just wants to have something just to go out and run around the shops come back home but oh my god the torque on this is amazing <laughs> I've never known a bike this small be so talking I took the riot out this morning and that little riot is absolutely beautiful but this thing oh my good god <laughs> it is off the mark it's breathtakingly fast to 30 mile an hour that is li literally instantly there I can see this thing being the bike of the future and I'm done sort of 2.6 miles and I am still at 92% battery and obviously in eco mode you're going to get a lot more out of those batteries and in yellow light I'm just going to pull this down really hard on that front brake and that stops on a sixpence so we're just going to let the lights change one more time I'm just going to give this the biggest hand of beans I can just to see what this little riot will um, this little uh, cipher will do and look at this there we go 10 15 20 30 instantly there obviously electric motor it's got no problems about going through those gear changes it's one speed motor and they always say that electric bikes have got a lot more torque and don't know if keep up with the traffic around town so obviously 30 mile an hour roads this keeps up with the traffic absolutely superbly So well done Lexmoto, the first electric bike they've ever done. I absolutely love this. If I could give this my uh, reach marks, I would rate this 100 out of 50. I am loving this bike to pieces. Now obviously, uh, to buy these, they have just come on the market. But you do get uh, your discount for being energy compliant. And it just corners so well even over those big bumps that monoshock is just soaking up those bumps so well done Lexmoto and that was a quick review of the Lexmoto cipher for you